Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Richard Evans. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our videos. Now today I'd like to show you how to use the replay functions inside the TriCaster 2 Elite. Now this system allows you to record multiple mixes and individual video sources and it also allows you to create instant replays to play back with just the touch of a button. So let's take a look and show you how it's done, son! Behold, the TriCaster 2 Elite Interface. This is where we're going to go to show you how to set up an instant replay today, and I have a very simple setup for today's broadcast. I have my inputs number one, two, and three coming in as my basketball games over NDI, and then on my fourth preview window here, I have my DDR1 set up so that I can monitor the different replays that I'll be capturing here, and that'll make sense here in a second. So uh, let me go ahead and show you how to first how to have the TriCaster record and replay the ISO inputs coming into the system. So not only can you record your mixes out of the system, but you can record individual channels as well and set those up to be instant replays. To do that, let's click on input number one's gear icon. All right, and underneath the input setting under capture, I can click record and that will make sure that I'm recording that particular input. But then underneath that, I also have an option for instant replay. So I'll put a check box next to that. And as soon as I've done that, check out input number one. Now I have an icon on the bottom right of that input, which basically says that this is now a replay ready input. So now uh, let me go down to my program and preview row. And this is where things can get pretty dang interesting. So, Underneath the input number one for my program row, you'll see that replay icon, but there's also a play button next to that. So what that means is if I hit this button here, that will create an instant replay and then automatically play it out onto my program row. So if something happened real quick, just click that button, bam, there goes the instant replay. But let's say that we want to create an instant replay and not play it out. I have the option underneath preview to do that as well. That's what that pause button means. So if I click on that one, that would mean that it would create an instant replay and then just leave it in the DDR bin and I can use that whenever I want. All right, now I do want to mention if you're using a control surface, you have another option because I'm just showing you with the keyboard and mouse, but if you were using a control surface, all you would have to do to do this exact same action would be to hold control down on your control surface and then press either the program input row here and that would create an instant replay and play it out automatically or the preview and that would just create it and leave it in the DDR bin. Okay, so just as a quick little note on that one there. So the next thing I want to show you is where to go on the TriCaster to tell it how to treat these instant replays. And we'll do that by going to the top right corner of the screen and clicking on this gear icon for record and replay. And you'll see I have three different options here. So I have a replay duration. I can either set that to be three seconds, five, eight, or 10 seconds. I'll leave it at eight seconds. It's a pretty good one. Uh, and then we'll go to replay speed. I have 100%. I can go down to 25%, 50%, 75 if I want to play it back in slow motion. <laughs> or I can speed it up to 150%, uh, 200%, etc. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we can do there. Uh, and then underneath that, we have replay and DDR. And that will basically just tell the TriCaster where we want to send these instant replays once we've captured them. So for today's example, throwing them into DDR1, so I'll leave it the way it is right now. All right, and let me go ahead and show you not only can we get the uh, ISO re recordings of my individual channels, but I can also use uh, instant replay on the mixes as well. And to do that, let's click on the program input, sorry, program uh, configuration tab. Go to mix number one, say record mix one, and instant replay, and then mix number two, instant replay for that as well. All right, so I'm just going to do the two of these right now. All right, so now let's also go through an input number two, and we'll set that up to record instant replays, and input three, same thing. And again, as soon as I've activated that, you'll now see underneath that I have those icons available to me. So let's go ahead and hit record and let's watch this game. And basically we just gotta wait for something to happen. So I can go through here and just switch my game like I normally would, you know, bring up inputs, lower thirds, etc. But this is a free throw side of things. So let's just wait until something actually happens in this game. 
And I like my input number two here. That's a pretty good shot choice. So let's just watch them do their thing. Go team, go. I believe in you. All right, oh, steal. All right, well, let's fast forward again until something else happens in this game. All right, so we're back in the game, got some action going pretty good. Oh, there we go, instant replay. Let's throw that on our program output by clicking on this button and check it out. Now I have an eight second clip going on here, so it did go back a little bit further in time, but now I have this clip playing back on my program row. Nice, and as soon as that clip is done, it will transition back to my shot because I have it in uh, this mode here. And now we're back to the game. So uh, if I wanted to say trim up that particular clip, I can go through on my DDR timeline here and scroll a little further in, let's say to there, for example, set my endpoint, and now I have that clip to use however I want. Now that was one that I just played out directly onto my program output, but let's say that I want to just create a replay, but not necessarily have it show up on my program output. So what I could do is we'll wait for that, and instead of sitting, uh, clicking on the uh, icon that appears under the program row, I'll do it under the preview row instead. All right, so let's watch this game a little bit for some action to take place. Kicking it back, kicking it back. Oh, oh, booyah, nice one. So let's go ahead and take an instant replay of that and create one by clicking on that icon underneath the preview row of input two. And now we'll see in DDR1, I now have that clip re uh, recorded so I can do whatever I want to with it now. So uh, I'm gonna go through and scrub through my timeline here in the bottom. And let's say I want to start it right about here-ish. Pretty good, let's set my in point right there. And the out point, uh, put it about there. All right, so now I've changed that eight second clip into a four second clip. And let's say that I want to, because uh, I, I captured it at 50%, but let's say that I want to play it back at normal speed. Uh, I can right click on this particular clip, go up to speed and set that to 100%. And now that clip is set to 100%, so I can have it play out at regular speed. So let me go ahead and transition to that on my program output just to show it. And there's the clip, three pointer, Bam, good to go. And back to the game, which is pretty dang cool. Now, uh, so I've only shown you at the moment how to grab the individual uh, inputs coming into the system and creating uh, instant replays for those. But again, like I mentioned earlier, is I can also do that same action with our mixes. And to do that using the keyboard, all I'd have to do is press the number pad on my physical keyboard itself to create those instant replays. So again, you have inputs, uh, sorry, you have mixes one through eight to choose from. So uh, all you need to do is press the corresponding number that would go with that particular uh, mix. So if you wanted a mix number one to show up, just press number one on your keyboard, etc. So let's go ahead and fast forward this game and I'll show you an example. I believe in you, you can do it. Go team, go. Let's make something happen, there we go. Yes, so let's get an instant replay of that by clicking on number one. And now check this out. I have this shot that's coming from my mix. Going up and in. Good job, everybody. All right, so again, that's how you could play that. Well, man down, <laughs> we got that on tape too. Okay, so uh, again, just clicking on the number pad for the corresponding mix will then create an instant replay that you will just play out onto your DDR and then uh, you have that clip and can manipulate it however you want after that. Now there's one other thing that I wanted to mention here is uh, I just showed you how to create an instant replay just real quick. Uh, for your mixes, but let's say that we want to create an instant replay and then have that show up in our DDR bins, kind of like what we were doing on the preview row here. So how you would do that, you would actually need to write a macro for this, and there's a whole bunch of different options that you can do uh, for this, so I definitely recommend checking out the user and automation guide to see what different options we have. But just for this uh, particular example, let me show you uh, how to create a macro to make an instant replay uh, that would show up in your DDR without playing it automatically. 
So we'll go to our session macros. I'm going to make a new macro here. And let's just say mix one create replay. OK. And uh, let's go ahead and click Edit. And let me move, expand the shortcut a little bit, because this is where we're going to need to type into this window here. What we're going to put in is the macro record underscore chop underscore no replay. All right. And then next to this, the value, the value of this is going to be the number of mixes that, or whichever mix you want to use. Now, since we are uh, doing it on the value side of things, the numbering of this is going to be uh, one off. So, for example, if you wanted to use mix number one, you would actually type in zero, because that's where the numbers for this are going to start. Uh, and then mix number two would be one. Mix number three would be two. And mix number four would be three. You kind of get the idea here. All right, but let me go ahead and put that as zero. So that'll be mix number one. We'll click OK. And then you can assign this particular macro to any trigger, uh, Novation Launchpad, et cetera. Uh, or we can just hit play, and that will create the exact same effect here. So let me go ahead and fast forward the game a little bit. All right, so we got some action on the court here. Kicking it out, going in. Oh, let's get a foul on the play. That's good enough. We'll hit the play button for that macro. And now you'll see that I have created that clip down here in my DDR1. And I can preview it over here. And now we can watch this particular clip back in slow motion at 50% so that we can know where the foul is. So that's another way for you to uh, go through and create an instant replay using the macro side of things. So a lot of really powerful tools within the TriCaster 2 Elite to create instant replays, play them back in your broadcast, and you'll be good to go.